What's going on YouTube? My name is Skylar. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we are unboxing Bloody Mary number two. That's right. I got two of them now. Do I need to? Not really, but I saw this one online for a price I just couldn't pass up and I had to pull the trigger on it. This one's a little bit different than this one. This is the first one that you might have seen me unbox. Very cool. New leaf. Very nice. This one's a little bit bigger and just has a little bit different characteristics. So I'm excited to check this out. Whoa, what did they do to this box? Okay, I just noticed that. That's interesting. So yeah, let's see what happened to it. Let's see if it's still in one piece. And uh, I'm excited. Let's crack it open. Every time I see paper towels, I start sweating. So it is wrapped up in a paper towel. It doesn't look like it's sopping wet. Actually, it looks really dry. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Wow, it looks beautiful so far. The underside of the leaf is absolutely stunning. It's like this like copper burgundy. It's very, very cool. And these petioles are pretty dark. A little bit darker than my other Bloody Mary. Definitely not, well, almost as dark as the Black Majesty up here. Wow, I'm not going to lie. I think I like this Bloody Mary a little bit more than the other one. Petioles are a lot darker, and the underside of these leaves are absolutely amazing. That copper burgundy color. Let's look at the roots. It looks like this was in some kind of soil before. So a little dry, a little crispy, um, but you know, we can work with it. See like those roots are just kind of falling apart in my hand. So I'm going to spray it down with some seaweed extract and we're going to go from there. 
Okay, I have my trusty seaweed extract spray. You guys know if you've been watching my channel at all, I live by this stuff when it comes to plants. I spray it on everything. Stressed out plants, non-stressed out plants, boiler feeding, you name it. I've got seaweed extract for it. So I use the Grow More brand. Um, I highly recommend grabbing some seaweed extract. It's organic. You can't burn your plants with it. On the NPK scale, it's like nothing. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend grabbing some of this stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna let that chill for a little bit. I'm going to get this ready. I'm gonna repotter. So my mix, my new and improved mix, has drastically changed from when I started collecting plants. Um, we've got mostly bark now. Before it was a lot of spag. Definitely changed that up. It's mostly bark, some spag, uh, a handful of Fox Farm potting soil, pumice, and uh, that's it. So I have my mix again. This is bark, pumice, a handful of Fox Farm potting mix, and a little bit of leca and some sphagnum moss. Pretty simple. Uh, leca is just, it was in the pot already. I was just lazy to remove it. I normally wouldn't add the leca in here. So basically, it's just fox farm, pumice, bark, and a little bit of sphagnum moss. Now, when I do this kind of mix, I do all organics. I try to create a living environment in there with microbes and the whole nine. I do use mycos. I love this stuff. Uh, I also do, you know, I have a couple of plants in hydro full hydro with air stones and everything. I've tried liquid organics for that. It's just a little too messy. So it's full synthetic over there with the hydro stuff. And then when I do this kind of mix, I try to do more of like a live soil kind of mix with uh, microbes and all that good stuff. So again, when you use this stuff, you want to make sure it makes contact with the roots. I just get the roots moist or wet and just kind of dump it all over the roots. Shoot, I was just thinking that I kind of want to add a pole, but I guess... I could just let her develop a little bit more before uh, adding a climbing pole. Really wanted to do that though. Maybe just we'll we'll let her grow out for a month or two.
Boom, and we're done. Dude, I keep spilling everything. Okay, we're, we're going to add some bigger pieces of bark now. Nice. Nice, clean aesthetic. Holds the humidity in. Nice and clean. Bloody Mary number two, everybody. I'm excited. You know what? The underside. So look at the underside of this Bloody Mary. Not too much going on, right? Now look at the underside of this buddy Mary. Very interesting. I wonder if this other one's just a juvenile. I mean, they even look different though. The leaves even look different. So the, obviously the first one's on the left, the new one's on the right. Very interesting. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Bloody Mary number two. We're so gothy over here.